Thank you for joining us today at RSA Identity Panel. I'm Hassan Imam, CEO at Obsidian Security. Let me share a little bit about Obsidian with you. So we were founded in 2017 with the singular focus of protecting your SaaS applications. Today, we serve more than 70 plus customers worldwide across many different verticals and sizes. We are built for scale, our largest customer has more than 250,000 employees. Our time to value is literally hours, minutes. The reason that's the case is because we do not require a proxy or an agent to be able to create value. Day one, you get benefit of all that we have learned across our 70 customers, as well as our ML model gets tuned with the historical data within your SaaS environment. Before I share more about Obsidian, I want to talk a little bit about the state of SaaS security. SaaS is a new, securing SaaS applications is not a new topic. You have invested in identity access management solutions. You have invested in network controls like CASB to be able to protect your SaaS applications. But we believe neither of those category of solutions addresses use cases like early detection of account compromise or to be able to recognize insider activity that is malicious or potentially just indiscipline creating enterprise risk for you, or to be able to recognize configuration drift that is creating undue enterprise risk, or to be able to showcase if your users have access privilege in a SaaS application, then they need to be able to do their daily activity. We solve for these use cases. We complement your investment in identity access management as well as Gatsby. So I want to give you a couple of precise examples of how an account compromise happens and why we are relevant. If you think about usage of you know, identity access management solutions like Okta, or Azure AD, or Salesforce, and so on, when a user logs in through any of the solutions, they create a session. There's a session token that is associated with that session. These session tokens live on your device or on your browser. If an attacker is able to steal that session token by breaching the endpoint using a malware or by a phishing attack, they are able to steal the session token. They can access the SaaS applications from anywhere in the world. And this happens more, than, more often than you realize. As you have improved your posture or authentication, session hijack, token theft, and use of that to be able to breach SaaS applications have become more and more common. Here's an example, a real world example from one of our customers where Okta session token was stolen and was being used to be able to access SaaS applications. We are able to recognize it in real time and create a concise view that allows you to be able to address it near real time. Here's another example you know, of vulnerability that you may be thinking about. There are lots of third-party applications that are getting integrated into your core SaaS applications. If one of those third-party SaaS applications get, get breached, your core SaaS applications get breached. How are you monitoring if those third-party applications have gotten breached and how they're accessing your SaaS applications has changed? We are able to do that for you. A great example is uh, the SolarWinds breach. The SolarWinds attack resulted in 80% enterprise finding the attacker in Office 365. The way it happened is that Mindcast got breached, which had integration into Office 365, and the attacker was able to use the auth tokens within Mindcast to be able to get into Office 365. We would be able to recognize that. Configuration. For SaaS applications, it happens in a very decentralized manner. There's administrators in different departments that, that configure these SaaS applications. You as the CIO or CISO might want all of your SaaS applications to adhere to a particular standard. For example, NIST benchmark or CIS benchmark, or you might have created your own benchmark. But how do you enforce that real time? How do you know if there's a drift that has been created? How do you know if there is a change that is about to be made that would result in a drift that will create on your enterprise risk for you? We are able to do that for you. 
How do we do that? We believe that to be able to serve the world of SaaS applications today, you have to represent how it is, which is they're interconnected. Microsoft Office is connected with Box, Dropbox with DocuSign, Salesforce with Slack. So the first thing we do when we connect to your SaaS application is represent how they're interconnected. Second, we develop understanding of how your users are normalized within the SaaS applications. We have deep understanding of the privilege model of each of those SaaS applications. So be able to understand how the users are privileged with, with, within each of those SaaS applications. We have an understanding of users activity within all of those SaaS applications, as well as how each of the SaaS applications are configured. Once you have all of these in a single graph, you can model what normal is for you, for your organization, for a user, for a peer group. By having these understanding, you are able to recognize if there's a compromise that has taken place where an attacker has stolen a token and acting as a, as a user, but behaving very differently, right? You're able to recognize if, if an insider's activities have suddenly changed. You're able to not only recognize configuration drift, but also the activities that are related to the configuration drift, giving you a true understanding of the risk and to be able to have a conversation with your business partners. We support major SaaS applications and every day we are adding more and more. The reason this is a, this is a very deliberate effort is because each SaaS application that we add to our platform, we, we unpack that SaaS application, its operating system to be able to have deep understanding to be able to serve the way we just talked about. Thank you for the time today. And uh, if you would like to talk to me more, reach out to me at Hassan at obsidiansecurity.com. Hassan with a single S. Look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you.